G'day everyone. How are you? Welcome to Behind the Scenes. I'm Thomas Robbins, the uh, creator and director of The Killian Curse. And action! We'll take a wee look at Werewolf here, uh, which was a night shoot. Great fun, this one. We uh, cranked off in the uh, early evening. And our first job was to put the uh, famous door in the middle of nowhere. The boys working hard. Brief rundown of what Yes, mate. Happens. We are um, putting together our door. We're about to do um, Werewolf. Owen is uh, one of the Room 21 guys who's about to get um, wasted. Uh, so hopefully you see this after you've seen the story. This is the door that he comes out of, which as you can see, is in the middle of nowhere. Uh, in theory, the other side is the um, school guidance counselor's office, and this is the corridor. So we're in Killian's mind and in his world now. So we're now in Killian's world, and he's placed his curse on poor old Owen, who's lazy, and uh, Owen will have to run for his life. Otherwise he'll lose his soul. <laughs> All done at night time, is it? All at night, yep. Just waiting for the sun to go down. And, uh, and we'll be away right through to about 6 in the morning. So it's going to be a big day for James Croft, our Owen actor, who's going to be fabulous. Thanks. Right, oh, you just know, night scene. <laughs> Get up at 5 o'clock. To 5 o'clock, 5 to 5. It's going to be a big night. Yeah. Uh, right now we're doing the werewolf scene where. And as you go more Mr. Shepherd, over there, yeah. comes a werewolf. Yeah. And he eats me. So, so the ticket <laughs> comes up first. Balls. They just put up a door, and, so and, and the it's going to be. Oh, and he comes, and he takes me yeah. through there, and yeah. slowly yeah. Uh, and then and I get scared when I'm in the forest, by behind a tree, and yeah, it should be fun. It should be good. Yeah, um, trans. From this being Mr. Shepherd, who's a bad teacher, into um, being a werewolf, and it's part of the curse. So we're doing it in about three stages, just normal, and then bit by bit, hands change, chest changes, and the teeth, and then go back and have full prosthetic makeup, and then come back as the wolf. So they're kind of shooting at light time. Not when it opens, when you hear it clamped shut. Yes. Hit the warrior Okay, one more. And action. Find out in about 20 seconds. Go on, what are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, that's right. You require motivation. Cut it. Slate 177, take one. Uh, this is the uh, great scene of Jed Brophy, who's uh, a top bloke and uh, world renowned actor in uh, many, many films Lord of the Rings and. Uh, a bunch of uh, films here in New Zealand. He's a he's a top man, and uh, he did an outstanding job here of him uh, ripping off his shirt. Although, as you can see, it was a bit of a mission for him. Not as strong a werewolf as we thought, but he got there in the end. He's a trooper. Go, Jed. And uh, this is the scene in the end, how it all kind of came together. Charles Killian in this. Um, he's a pretty interesting sort of guy. I'm having a lot of fun doing this because he's uh, he's the guy that drives the whole story. Like I don't I don't appear in all that many episodes, but uh, I have a very dramatic scene right at the start of it that kind of gets all this, the story underway, uh, which.
which is about setting up this portal, you know, designing this school and setting up this portal to the underworld. And uh, a really good day on my first day shooting. There's all these these kids who so got into the world of uh, of Killian, you know, that made it very easy for me to believe in what it was that I was having to do there. Having a different kind of day to day. I've been doing a lot of waiting. And, uh, it's about one o'clock in the morning, and uh, it's seven now. So I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh, but this is about seven hours since I did my last shot. So it's kind of nice to be in front of a camera, you know. <laughs> it's almost like working. So now we're going to take a look at the uh, fire stunt, which was um, great. Always fun. This is. Uh, our fire stunt coordinator, uh, stuntman extraordinaire Sam Williams, local Wellington lad, suiting up, ready to uh, be engulfed in flames. We've done lots of damage to Sam over the years, it's been uh, good. And uh, once again we get to put him through the pain barrier. Uh, well, we're getting stunned and ready to burn it. Here's our Killian double. It looks like he's got an F1 suit on. We're going to make sure he's covered in whatever flammable material he's using. And um, he'll burn and then he's got his guys here to put him out. Pat, pat, pat. For as long as you want. Yeah. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Yeah. And when you like, oh, oh, sort of like this. Oh. Yeah. And then when you go, I've only got another five or ten seconds left, I just want you to stop. Yeah. As if something has overcome you. There yeah. is no pain, I know and then you just look up. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. And action. Five. Well, I think I've got a, a shade darker than I usually am. <laughs> but apart from that, no, everything will be fine. Hot? Uh, it's warm. It's not hot, hot like you think it is. Like it looked. I don't know. I, I know you probably feel more the heat than I would. Because all the protective stuff that you see me beforehand, that you see me put on, actually um, keeps a lot of the heat out. And uh, this is the scene uh, for the opening story of the Killian Curse with the um, how it all looked in the end. Help me! Help me! Please! Help me! You call me evil! You shall pay for this! All of you! Okay, not helping was probably a bad idea. Now we're going to have a look at Warlock, um, which is fantastic. And uh, this guy here is uh, the fabulous Stephen Ewer, another Lord of the Rings boy and other great films, who was a trooper and decided to come in and uh, give us a hand with doing this. So he played the Warlock. And uh, this story is a great example of um, low-budget boys uh, and girls getting together and um, rigging up a bunch of stuff on a minimal budget. But uh, it worked pretty well. Straight towards camera. No, sure. cool. Here we go. And action. Here's that scene. Now the way that we got the uh, Warlock to um, blow up uh, and get fatter and fatter is we actually had Stephen who's a slim boy and then we got a bigger lad to step in and also our costume designer Bob Buck um, made this great suit that we could just kind of uh, keep filling up and um, you could undo and widen out, so um, we just did it in uh, in stages. <laughs> Hot. 
I've actually been casting for about the last four years to find a guy this book. Um, this kid was actually raised by uh, elephants in the African jungle and uh, worked out quite well. This is big. Uh, this is uh, debut and uh, and he's uh, make a quick phone call to his um, elephant family because we're about to pop them. Uh, it'll be it for him, he'll be gone. So from, so from here... <laughs> So lots of cool shapes and moving around. By now you're moving around quite a lot, okay? It's already down with my equipment. I know. And this is the uh, little scene where he's uh, getting blown up with the fat machine that Johnny turns uh, on in reverse. Blow instead of suck, and uh, hence the end of the warlock. Got him there. Stand by. And this is another great example of uh, modest budget. This is the uh, fat being thrown onto the exploding fat onto a uh, young Johnny. And our actor Thomas had a great time doing this. That's one of my good fat. Cut. And this is the uh, scene of that one too. The demise of the warlock. That's one way to burn fat. Uh, these are our lovely little monkeys, the Room 21 actors, and this is on our last day of them saying thanks to the New Zealand On Air crew who gave us the money along with TVNZ. So they were fantastic. So uh, thanks for watching and, uh, of course, a huge thanks to Nick Larson and Jason Rogan, who uh, the boys from Pigville Productions put this together for us. Good on you, boys. Can you see it?